Snow Possum. Teen Country Boys Outdoors coming to you tonight with a pretty quick video on an alternative recipe to chow that keeps you amusing that old cream style corn hunter. Maybe keep them old catfish all the nose. So what you're going to need for this is three pounds of number two or starter chow. Possum going to throw that in the bucket, Yanni. So three pounds of chow. And here's where you typically put your corn in. We're going to go with our flavoring first. Now, you'll not find this flavor nowhere, fellas. I just made this yesterday. It's the first thing I've made since the Hulk. We're going to try it out. There's no label. You can see no label on it. Just have me an old bottle. I mixed up some stuff, some juice here. And we're going to give it a try. So after you trout chow, and I'll let you know what the name of it is if it starts to work for me. But uh, boy, that smells good. Talk what you think about that. Ooh, doggies. So after you get your three pounds of chow in, typically you'd go with your corn or your corn and your flavor mix. Here's what we're going to do a little different. We're going to use about half this bottle to three pounds of chow. If you did six pounds, you'd probably use a whole bottle. So we're going to go about half a bottle and just pour it over into chow. Mix it up real good, just like you would anything else. Just go ahead and mix it up. You'll see a lot of the flavoring laying in the bottom. You just want to keep pulling and pushing the chow through the flavor. And pick it up off the bottom and coat these little pellets with your flavor. Once you got it mixed up pretty good then, what you typically do with this thing I'm about to add in here is for every pound two units of this. And what is this? It's an egg substitute. Egg whites. Whole eggs. Typically use for every pound of chow two eggs. So three pounds of child be six eggs. This is like your old uh, egg substitute, the egg mates, whatever it might be called in your area. And it's one and a quarter cup on account of you don't come in a, a egg shell. You know, it comes in them old cartons. Possibly grab that carton there and show it to you. So you take one and a quarter cup of this, which is about the equivalent to six eggs. Pour it on over in there. Then you mix that up real good. Now I told you, young fellas, there, the trap chow wasn't my forte, and I don't really like it. But I tell you, whenever I was taught this recipe from somebody that was kind enough to help me out with some chow, and a lot of you have been, I'll never make it no other way except this way. So you make sure you stir that up real good still after you pour them egg whites in it while then go ahead and still reach to the bottom and pull some of that flavoring off. Run your hands through it and mix it up real good. And I'm telling you right now it'll be ready. Look at there. Now, that probably won't break, but it already packed good for you. 
And this, I'm gonna tell you right now, this is the best way I've found so far that I've tried to make it. It seems like you don't get that old nasty chow smelling the oil all over it. It just seems like the eggs absorb it. And it just seems to work better. And after you're done stirring her up, you know the drill, fellas. Throw the lid right back on it. Oh, possibly you want me to show it to you. with everything else. Throw that lid on her. Set her in the corner and leave her be then. We're going to go fishing tomorrow. It looks like I might have went a little heavier than a half a bottle. But uh, if we catch some fish, why well then I'll let you know what the name of it is. I did name it. Got a really cool name. And uh, we'll see how she does. I hope y'all had a great weekend. Uh, look for another film coming, video coming maybe uh, Monday or Tuesday or, or something like that. But uh, that's your trout chow recipe with just flavoring, number two starter, and egg whites. Well, that's gonna be that's gonna be it for tonight, folks. Um, make sure to like and subscribe and go check out our other videos and top lines with wet nets. And always remember when you go somewhere. Make sure to pick up your trash. That's right. And the best thing is come to those who bait. The Jimbo and Possum signing out. See you later. You done?